Venezuelan troops stormed a Caracas square on Sunday to evict protesters who turned it into a stronghold during six weeks of demonstrations against President Nicolas Maduro. The protests have left at least 28 people dead and dozens more wounded. Soaring inflation, food shortages, and the country's high violence crime rate have helped inflame an already deep political divide. The demonstrations are seen as the biggest test yet to the socialist leader, Nicolás Maduro, since he took power last year. The only way this can be resolved is by continuing the struggle. We can't dialogue with an assassin. You can't extend your hand to a hypocrite. But there are no signs that the unrest could overthrow Maduro's government or force him to resign. Most analysts agree they haven't really galvanized a critical mass yet. And people outside the protest movements, who are also tired of the conditions here, seem conflicted over what should happen next.